PlayStation, a name that resonates with gamers around the world, just saying the name probably brings a character to mind, a flood of memories perhaps of countless hours spent in fantastical worlds, Crash Bandicoot, spinning like a tornado, smashing crates and collecting wumpa fruits, Sackboy zipping through levels with his little gravelly hands always ready for a new adventure. PlayStation's history is filled with memorable characters, each one leaving an indelible mark on the gaming landscape. But who takes the crown as the mascot? It's a tough question, one that sparks debates among fans. Crash was our introduction to the original PlayStation. He was the face of a new era in gaming. He felt fresh, different, and a little bit edgy for the time, a character that stood out in a crowded market. He was the mascot that said, PlayStation is cool. Then you have Sackboy, a different kind of hero. Little Big Planet and its DIY levels were a revolution. It empowered players to create and share their own worlds. Sackboy became the symbol of creativity and community, a character that brought people together. He was the mascot that said, PlayStation is for everyone, inclusive, welcoming, and fun. So, where do we go from here? The PlayStation 5 era is upon us. Who will be the icon of the PlayStation 5 era and beyond? Only time will tell, but the legacy of icons continues to grow. Enter Astrobot. You might be thinking, who? And that's fair. Astro hasn't always been in the spotlight. He started as a cute little robot in the Playroom, a free PlayStation 4 game designed to show off the DualShock 4 controller's features. It was a fun, interactive experience, but Astro was just one of many characters. But then came PlayStation VR, and with it, Astrobot Rescue Mission. This was a game changer. Suddenly, this little robot wasn't just cute, he was a VR hero. He was saving his friends, battling enemies, and exploring vibrant worlds. The game was a masterpiece, using VR in ways nobody expected. It was innovative, immersive, and incredibly fun. Swinging your head to break open a path, it felt natural and intuitive. Looking around corners to find hidden items, it added a whole new layer of exploration. Astrobot Rescue Mission was pure VR magic. It was a hit. Gamers and critics alike praised its creativity and charm, and it showed the world that Astrobot was more than just a tech demo character. He was something special. He had heart, personality, and a sense of adventure. But could he be mascot? Could Astrobot become the face of PlayStation, standing alongside iconic characters like Kratos and Nathan Drake? Only time will tell, but one thing is certain. Astrobot has already made a lasting impression. Let's be honest, Astrobot is adorable. Those big expressive eyes, the way he wobbles when he walks, you can't help but smile when he's on screen. He's got that classic mascot charm that instantly makes you like him, but Astro's appeal goes beyond just looks. He's brave, always willing to face danger to save his friends. He's resourceful, using his gadgets and the environment to overcome obstacles. And most importantly, he's always optimistic, even when things look bleak. He's the little robot that could. And in a world filled with gritty, serious gaming heroes, Astro's pure, unadulterated joy is refreshing. So, how does Astro stack up against PlayStation's previous mascots? It's a tough competition. Crash Bandicoot is a gaming icon, instantly recognizable and loved by millions. He represents a sense of rebellious cool that PlayStation capitalized on in the late 90s. Sackboy, on the other hand, is all about creativity and collaboration. He's the embodiment of PlayStation's play, create, share philosophy. He's a symbol of the power of user-generated content and the joy of playing together. Astro, however, offers something a little different. He represents innovation and a sense of wonder. He's the face of PlayStation's push into virtual reality, a technology that feels truly cutting edge and exciting. Why does any of this matter? Why do we even need mascots in gaming? Because mascots are more than just cute characters, they're ambassadors for their brand. They represent the values and experiences associated with a particular console. Think Mario and Nintendo. You see that red hat and mustache and you instantly think of fun, family-friendly games. Master Chief and Halo? You know you're in for an epic, action-packed adventure. Mascots create an emotional connection with players. They make a brand feel more approachable, more relatable. And in a crowded gaming market, that kind of emotional connection can make all the difference. So, can Astrobot be PlayStation's enduring mascot? It's a big question with a lot riding on it. He's got a lot going for him. Astrobot is not just another character, he has a unique charm and appeal that sets him apart. He's cute, he's charming, 
and he's the star of one of the best VR games ever made. His adventures in virtual reality have captivated many. He embodies the spirit of innovation that PlayStation is known for. But there are challenges. The gaming world is vast and varied. VR is still a niche market. Despite its growing popularity, it hasn't reached the mainstream audience in the way traditional gaming has. Not everyone has a headset, and not everyone is interested in that kind of gaming experience. This limits Astrobot's reach. Astro needs to prove that he can be just as compelling outside of VR, he must show versatility and appeal in traditional gaming formats. He needs his own Super Mario 64 moment, a defining game that showcases his potential and solidifies his place in gaming history. A game that transcends its platform and becomes a system seller, something that makes people buy a PlayStation just to experience it. A game that shows the world that Astrobot is more than just a VR hero, he's the PlayStation mascot, a symbol of the brand's future and legacy. The PlayStation landscape is changing. We're seeing more focus on live service games, bigger open worlds and experiences that extend beyond the console. Does a cute family-friendly mascot still fit into that vision? It's a question that Sony needs to answer. Do they want to stick with the established icons like Crash and Sackboy, or are they ready to embrace a new generation of characters like Astro Bot? Maybe the answer isn't about replacing one mascot with another, maybe there's room for a whole pantheon of PlayStation heroes, a diverse cast of characters that represent the wide range of experiences that PlayStation offers. So, is Astrobot the PlayStation mascot we need? He might be. He's got the charm, the personality, and the potential to be a true icon, but he needs the right opportunities to shine. He needs games that showcase his unique abilities and capture the hearts of gamers everywhere. Only time will tell if Astrobot has what it takes to join the ranks of gaming's greatest mascots. But one thing's for sure, this little robot has already made his mark on the PlayStation universe. And who knows, he might just be the hero we need to lead us into the future of gaming.